All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Thanks again for joining today as we are testing every single mask on Amazon and someone keeps making masks and they make different ones. And so I got to keep testing them. So buckle up folks, because we're in this for the long haul. I'm going to get all these masks. You better believe it. Today we are looking at the Hygienics mask, which actually, hey, hey, we got a brand name here. Hygienics, Hygienics, Hygienics. Hygien I like that. It makes me feel good. I like the Hygienics brand. Let's look at the box. Uh, it's not a soft touch box. Well, well, sorry, guys. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't love, I like the, the logo, uh, which you can just tell, like, if someone, you know, like the We Care brand and some of these other ones, they just spent some time to, like, think about the brand and, to, like, come up with a nice box. It's like, that's going to translate in probably something that's going to protect you a little bit more. I will open this up. Again, I'm always the worst at doing this. I'm supposed to be gentle or something, but like I, these little, I know these tongue and groove things are so that you can like re push them in, but they always put this little plastic in there. And then how am I supposed to open it? All right, I love that it's, you know, it's a good quality box. It is actually, aside from not being soft touch, um, and it's sealed in here. Oh, I don't love this type of sealing. So this is not a real seal. It looks like a seal, um, but it's, it's this kind where you can just, you know, anybody can, you know, who knows? Yeah, you know, a fourth grader could have come along and just like stuck their hands in there. You know, fourth graders' hands are. So this is a very basic mask. Um, I like the, uh, this is kind of a, a thing only a mask manufacturer would notice. This is a huge stamp here, which is great because it's probably gonna give a great ear loop. So whoever made these was like actually caring. So does it translate? Pretty good. I can tell it's gonna break. I can tell it's gonna break though if I, if I give it a little bit of pressure. So. Not the best ones. Some of them, I'm like, man, you could like pick up a small child with these, but not these. You definitely, I would not recommend picking up a small child with one of these. A child would definitely be damaged. Um, but if you're just putting it on your face, it's pretty good. So I'm going to say, because I just love the attention to detail on the, and the, ear, the, the nose wires aren't 100% centered, so that's not great. I love the attention to detail though on some of this. So I'm going to give this... Uh, I'm going to give it three stars because it's not centered. The nose wire is not centered. I don't like that. But this is this is good. You know, this is definitely okay. This is never going to break if it's on your face, my opinion. Let's put it on. So the ear loop's too big. I'm getting a slight smell. Not the worst I've seen uh, or I've seen because <laughs> we all see smells. Uh, I've uh, I've experienced on, uh, on Amazon for sure. Oh, man. What am I going to call this? Uh, definitely today I've been, I've been getting a, it's, it's a, like a little bit musty. Um, so it's like, uh, you know, an unair conditioned room. It's like a, now I'm going to call it a, uh, uh, a European hotel room in the summer. They don't have AC. It's just always a little musty smelling. Not terrible. Not bad. Not good. Um, all right, let's test. Now this is the, everyone's favorite part where I try to, yes, did it. And let's switch over and start testing and, but you gotta hit the button and go. All right, again, this is a uh, particulate filtration efficiency machine that we're using today. I'm going to put a link below that explains what that is, if you don't know. Um, this is showing the airflow resistance, which we care about. We want it to be under 150. Um, but also, the airflow resistance is usually correlated to the efficiency of the mask. Uh, because I like drama, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. Instead, we're going to look at the listing. Uh, so the hygienics, so the box is on the screen, the exact box that arrives. So I love that like, you know, truth in advertising here. Um, the, uh, the name is right there. The brand is right there. Like, I like that. These are all good signs. You know, 6,000 ratings almost, $13.99, pretty good price. Um, Three-ply disposable face mask, PFE 99%. Oh, I love it. Yes. I love when they make claims because then we get to see if the claims play out. Premium filter protects against 99% of particulates larger than one micron. Well, I'm glad you made that claim because this machine happens to test just that. What say the results? 94%, 94.5%. Oh, it's supposed to be 98. Uh, in fact, a level two mask or a level one mask is 95%. They didn't even make the 95%. I am going to give this one one star because you're lying.
Don't lie. If you're going to flex that hard, you got to be able to back it up. They, they, this would have been a great mask if they just didn't make those claims. But they did, and they're lying to you. Do not buy this mask, my opinion. All right. If this was helpful at all, if you were going to buy this mask because you're like, man, I want 99% protection, and then you didn't because you saw the test and you were like, oh, dang, I'm not buying that, then give me a like. That's the currency of YouTube. You see, I help you, and then you give me a like. It's a currency. It's an exchange. It's a, this is the commerce we're using, and my ego needs it, let's be honest, because... Uh, who would ever get this excited about a lab result? Like there's clearly something wrong with me. Okay, thanks very much for joining us and I'll see you at the next test.